Okay, today is going to be a probably quite short stream from Gran Turismo 7. Uh, mainly, I want to do, I want to move with the menu books again, but there is uh, a one leftover race I have in Japan, which I'm going to quickly have a look through now. Uh, Asia, Oceania, Oceania. Uh, well, I don't have to go there, right? It all shows me here. Uh, group, group 3 is too far for me, I don't have that car. Uh, I think it's this one, Japanese FR, but I'll have a quick look around. I don't do the pluses yet. Uh, group 4 and plus. So yes, it's this one in Tsukuba and it's 450 FR Japanese challenge. So let's quickly have a look if I have a car with 450. I have, oh, and it's a nice car. I have two, Frank can see here. Uh, I don't know what the Subaru is. 460, uh, but I want to use the Nissan actually. So the Nissan, that's Cuba. Let's 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 do car settings quickly. Comfort soft. Those are good tires. Uh, quite an old car, so my assumption is no ABS. Um, okay, let's listen to Kevelham and the Rouge. Why do I love the Toyota 86? So I don't know. Tell me. I would say for the feeling you get. Uh, when it takes a corner, it's something really unique, a real wheel drive curse. Oh my, majestic. Uh, I'm not sure if I should be speaking Polish. I can. <laughs> uh, Vitae, Vitae. Uh, how's your weekend going so far? And what the Rache has to say. Um, Oh man, sorry to hear you have to work on Sunday. Uh, hopefully it was a good day at work. Um, yeah, I don't know how long that stream's going to be. I have one uh, leftover race I want to do. And then there are some, maybe I will do some menu, menu books. Hey there, I'm Ryan Derouche. That Tsukuba circuit is also used for license tests. If you take your channel B and A license, you will get to know, to know Tsukuba pretty well. That's good to hear. Really good to hear. A quick look through the assists, uh, manual, traction control, ABS. I'm assuming there is no uh, ABS in that car and it will be manual H pattern. Okay, okay. I need to get used to it. I just was, uh, I was just driving in Project Cars 2. I was testing or I was practicing for Le Mans in LMP2. I have a race on Thursday, like eSport race online. Uh, that's going to be interesting. I probably will be streaming that. I need to get. Uh, I need to kind of switch from driving LMP2 to driving in Gran Turismo 7. I was driving, uh, I pick up a Leger, Leger Honda. I think it was the Michael Shang livery, just because it's a real live livery, so that's what I wanted to use. I'm surprised I have to drive so slowly through those corners. Switching from Project Cars 2 straight to Gran Turismo 7 feels strange.
Yeah, I think I have the I have the ultimate edition, so I've got all the DLCs. Some of the DLCs cars are really, really cool. I love that Panos in GT1 class. It's in DLC, and it's such an amazing car and sounds amazing. Oh, that's from the TC class, right? Yeah, I like it as well. Yeah, touring car. I did some invitational events uh, a few days ago in Project Cars 2 um, from the carrier mode because I unlocked quite a few of them and wanted to clear them. Some of them are really crazy, like a lot of them are in rain. And driving those road cars uh, on, on the Spirelli tires, road tires in rain, some of them are so hard. Yeah, that's such a good car. I did a, I did a two hours race in that car on Watkins Glen. Such a good truck as well. Such a really great combination. Yeah, what is it? I think that was the last race I kind of missed previously due to some circumstances related to already having the car, so I can move to the book. 2004 Jaguar X-Type. Yeah, uh, there's plenty of them here, obviously. It's London, right? UK, so there will be a lot of them. Jacks are nice. Very luxury cars, especially the older one. They were kind of special. Menu books. It's collection forge. Okay. Uh, I guess I have a focus already. Yes. So I need GT and Raptor. Okay. Learn more. For this menu, we'll be focusing on collecting cars produced by Ford. Ford were the first company in the world to mass produce cars, and they bought every over 120 years of history. Boast. Three cars are packed with the power you would expect from an American machine. Collect them, then come back here. The 90s one, you say. Uh, some of them were really good. They were really big as well. The 90s jacks. Uh, they, I think they changed their philosophy with the new cars, uh, Jaguar. They look completely different. They look more like a modern family cars. And they used to look more like uh, very luxury, luxurious cars. XJ, for example, the old XJ. But yeah, even the new Jaguars, they're still really nice. The F type or E type or the SUVs. Yeah, let's go to World Circuits. So we're going straight to America. Uh, no, I didn't know that actually. First time I, I hear about this. But I saw the new GT3 from Ferrari and Porsche. Those are really nice. The Ferrari 298, I think it's called. There's one race at Daytona International Speedway. And one in Colorado Springs. Let's do the Colorado Springs first. Oh, this is going to be interesting because that's a dirt truck. Do I even have a car for that? Okay, so I need a car which I can win here. That's a bit stupid. Here I can win GT. <clears throat> 
So I need to buy a car first. I don't think I have anything. Um, let's get Toyota then. Buying Raptor because I'm going to win the Raptor here, right? Time to do some shopping in Grand Central. Asia Pacific and Toyota. Hopefully it's not too expensive. That's so huge. Tundra Pro. Okay. Yeah, blue looks nice. Okay. Uh, 60, 62,000. Not bad then. Heavy hold. Oh, trophy earned. What is this trophy? Boat a pickup truck. Cool. Supposed to be. Uh... Okay, I need to have a look. Let me have a look. I need my keyboard. This one. Got the new. Okay. Yeah. There, there are news about this. Oh, I hate papers like that or news pages like that. Uh, maybe this one is going to be better. Okay, this is my ad blocker. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to see it today. Uh, maybe there's something on the Bugatti webpage, the official one. Yeah, let's do that, yeah. The, the EV was always there, wasn't it? Oh, that's a new one. I need to see the old one and the new one next to each other. Okay, they're showing the EB, okay. Cool. Well, I'll never buy one anyone anyway, so good for those who can afford this. Yeah, you're right. That's what it was. Yes, please change this car. Um, how much PP do I need for the race? Let's have a quick look. No limit, but I'm sure there is some kind of there is no ah oh, suggested is 420 okay and I have 470 so I'm going to stick with it. Uh, let's enter. Ah, oh, I need to go and buy the dear tires. Oh, that's something I didn't know. I knew that Ferrari is uh, Acura, Porsche, possibly Audi, um, Cadillac. I didn't know Alfa Romeo. That's great. The more, the better. Oh man, that would be amazing because, you know, the, the bigger the competition in that class, the better the races are going to be. Oh, that looks sweet. Oh, wow. Curious if this is just a design or if they're really going to make it. They're saying it's a pure hypercar material. Let's see, let's see. Looks amazing, like anything from Italy. Uh, let's tune something here. Where can I buy the dirt tires? 
Oh, here, they cheap as well, good. Oh, a Lamborghini is building one as well. So there will be a Lamborghini hypercar. I think in a LMDH class, not an, in LMH class. So the next year, especially in IMSA, is going to be really interesting. Okay, I need to get rid of the keyboard. It's on my way. Here we go. So, assist, I'm going to stick with as it is, so no helps instead of on the road. Yeah, they could do something around the P1, right? That's already a super fast and truck car. Maybe they could just modify it a little bit. I, I don't know much about Senna. Well, I know how it looks like, but I never really paid attention to Senna. Uh, I know there is like a GTR edition of it, right? So I think it is a truck car as well. this dirt truck. Un unnecessary downshift. Should have stayed on the third gear all the time. there. I will switch to the radar so I can better see where they are around me. It's like I don't have enough power. Oh, he hit me. I have one more lap actually to catch the first two guys.
so close, but will I be able to catch up with them? Oh, sorry, mate. Just, just in front of the finish line. Good. Okay, so it, the Senna is just a race truck. That makes sense. Oh, I, did, I haven't heard about those two. I'll have a look later on how they look like. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just made them up. I, I really wanted to actually have a look. Uh, good you added the last line because I would be searching Google <laughs> for those two. But yeah, I know how Senna looks like, and I think there's a GTR version of Senna as well. But yeah, I don't know much about it. Okay, so I got a Ford after I actually needed that Ford, but it is what it is. So much clicking into the game. Okay, and the next one will be Daytona, such a great truck, and it's also in trucks, uh, so this time I'll pick up the Ford, just to see how it drives. The Ford has more horsepower, but it's heavier. Okay, let's see. Daytona is actually a really fast truck, so that extra horsepower Now this car will definitely have ABS, right? Wrong gear. <sighs> okay, let's try to catch up with them again. Six seconds to the eleventh. One point seven. It's growing actually. Hopefully, I will catch them on the turn. Yeah, they're braking. That gives me a bit of advantage. One point five, one point four, one point three, one point two. Below one second, I should get a slipstream in a moment. I think I have it now. I'll bump him. Yeah. And then we come on, drive, drive, don't break. Why is he breaking? What are they doing? up there. 25, good speed. Stay lower man, don't go so high. We're catching up, just in front. That's end of lap 2. Three laps to go. Oh, come on, why did you do it? I think I have enough speed to catch up with them. And get some slipstream, maybe not, it's two seconds. 
1817. Uh, I think I have a slipstream now. My speed is growing. Good. Bumper to bumper again. Let's overtake this guy in the green one. Okay, it's behind. It's safe now. It's lap four and we need to catch the first one. And this is not going to be easy, I think. But it's so much fun to do it, doing it. Now we should be able to do it. I have a faster slap now. Hopefully it's going to stay like that. I actually didn't check before this race and the, the race before if those guys had anything to say, the talking heads. I may actually go back and check just for fun of it. We still have lap and a half and we're catching up to the first one, which is good. Now, what the guy in front of me is going to do, that's something I don't know. I actually may try to. No, that was too early. I didn't have enough speed. And now they're going bumper to bumper. As soon as I get out, I'm losing Okay, that's good, that's good. He doesn't have a drag now. I don't have a slipstream, but he doesn't have as well. But I have the guy behind me. Which means I'll be getting a bit more speed than the guy on the right hand side of me. This is good. I have the inside as well. And I'm the train, which means I can drive a little bit faster if this is the last thing to do, is just not to let anyone to pass me. Which should be doable, because this is the finish line here. <laughs> that was a pretty cool race. It looked ridiculous to start with, because those cars are quite slow, but at the end of the day, it was a slipstream race. Perfect, done. Made it without any tuning. And I got the free star roulette ticket, uh, which usually are useless anyway. Actually, they're useless every single time. And that's the fourth. Uh, obviously, that focus uh, has a race assigned to it, which I haven't done. I don't care about this. So I'm actually find which race it was for that focus and do it as well. So I don't have any leftovers, because then I have to pick them up anyway later on. Uh, do I still have a coffee? I do. Lovely. So one, things, uh, one of the things I want to check is, uh, I'm going back to the race, because I want to see if there was a talking head there, and maybe I missed, missed it. Uh, actually, there wasn't. Okay. Was there one at the, the other race? Uh, what's that? No, it was this one. I have a quick look. Um, I know, I know, it has to be the other car. No, there wasn't as well. Okay, I can leave those behind and let's find where's the race assigned to focus. Uh, not here, not here. I think that's the one here at Willow Springs. This one, yeah, that's the focus race. Uh, I'll have the focus, but I want to clear the race, so... 
that's not dirt, right? That's uh, normal Thermac, so... I'll stay in Toyota. Just want to make sure I have re proper tires, so... Comfort mediums, okay. That's what it is. Let's enter. I think I have ABS on, which I guess in car like that we would normally have ABS, but it will be... So, better tires and a bit less weight. Let's see if that makes a difference. Oh, I think it does. Tires alone would be enough. So much more grip. seconds at that moment. Breaking here a little bit. Let's go back to the truck. Eight seconds.
this time it's P1. And a win. Let's go back to the coffee menu back book and see what I have to say. Oh, let's link to marker here. Cars. One in Japan. And two in US. Raptor. Okay, I didn't know about that, so that's a new thing. Well, I don't want to watch it, I want to go to the gifts and get my Roulette of Despair, the worst price again. One day I'll get something better than the worst price. Not this time though. And let's clear this uh, menu book. And then it will be the end of the session for today. Oh, the corkscrew and Laguna Seca. Such a famous corner. Congratulations, you've got all three cars. This completes your fourth collection. Once you've collected your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you about those cars. So I'll listen to them right now. Menu book number 26, collection Ford. The USA Ford is one of the world's leading car manufacturers. It has been responsible for producing legendary sports cars such as the Ford GT, best selling pickup trucks like the F150, and hot hatches like the Focus, which was built in Europe. In other words, it's been involved in the creation of all sorts of different cars. Cars appeared around the end of the 19th century and before long they had revolutionized the world. Play a leading role in the revolution by leading the first to come up with mass production technology, being the first. Days not long after the very first car had been invented, cars were built one at a time with craftsmen moving between each. 1908, however, Ford introduced the first production line, meaning that the cars moved while the workers stayed still. This allowed cars to be mass produced, which in turn made them dramatically cheaper. One of the cars produced on Ford's early production lines was the legendary Model T. Million Model Ts were built over 20 years period. Today, we take mass production for granted. But Ford will always be remembered as the ones who took, who shook things up. Okay, this is going to be enough for today. As I said, it's going to be short session. So I would like to thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time at the book, I think number 27. See you.